Hey there, Scorpio. Welcome to your reading for the September 17th Pisces Eclipse. Uh, we are just going to jump right in here. You have this Prosperity card and this Darkness card, so there definitely could be Prosperity coming in for you. All three water signs have had uh, great cards of Prosperity or becoming more prosperous uh, because of this Eclipse. So, And here you go. You have, you have the Empress here, and the Empress can definitely represent Abundance, so it seems to me like it could be a good time to like get to work on something <laughs> that uh, makes you more successful or something that creates success for you, Scorpio. And, you know, again, I think that would be a good thing. Uh, the darkness card, I do think we are in kind of like a time of darkness in a way, and I wouldn't let that scare you. I just think that, you know, we have Pluto retrograde at uh, 29 degrees of Capricorn, and we will actually be seeing a lot of darkness come to light. So, you know, it's not such a bad thing, but it could you know, it could look like things are not great. <laughs> and uh, there you go. Uh, Pisces also had the tower in their last row. So definitely something to think about. Uh, the last row is the row of the good stuff. You, How crazy is it that for the past like few months, you've been getting the tower in your last row of the good stuff like several times, which is super weird to me. But, you know, we'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, you have the Page of Wands, the King of Swords, and the Empress. The Page of Wands is about, you know, being excited for an, a new adventure or going on a new adventure. And you have the King of Swords. The King of Swords, it's like popping into my head as like years of learning. So if you have been learning something for a very long period of time in your life, then I think it would be an amazing time for you to go on an adventure with the things that you learn. You know, I always like to remind people that the King of Swords is about turning knowledge into wisdom, you know, so you can learn something all day long. But until you actually do it, whatever you learned, you know nothing, right? <laughs> because, you know, if you think about it, you know, uh, uh, people who are kind of like true experts, it's like they know just like the little extra things that, that can't be taught, right? And so we learn those little tiny extra things by turning knowledge into wisdom. So I feel it's time for you to put into practice something that you have been learning for a very long period of time. And this could be something that you've been learning through life lessons as well. I always tell people to get their gold from the lessons they've been through because I believe even our most difficult lessons have a tiny little bit of treasure in them, even if it's just the lesson itself. Like even if we just learned a lesson, if we implement what we learned, uh, then we get the success from it. And again, most people I think they miss out in life because they don't take what they've learned and apply it to their life. And so I feel like the King of Swords is basically just saying, you know, apply the things that you have learned in your life to your life. Uh, you have the Empress, and the Empress, of course, is total abundance. You have that prosperity card. You have the Ten of Pentacles at the end. So it looks to me like a lot of you could be creating a lot of wealth and prosperity. It's probably after a difficult period of time because you have the Tower. Um, but again, the Tower's coming up in the good stuff. And so the tower and the good stuff would say that you're entering a new reality or you're having like a light bulb moment. And I would definitely, um, without clarifying, again, we're going to get more details as we clarify, but without clarifying, I kind of feel I, like I need to see, see see more is what I'm trying to say. But um, without clarifying, I feel like the tower is saying that you are going to maybe have an idea or a light bulb moment uh, this month. And I, I feel like it's this month, even though we're talking about the eclipse season. We have three Pisces eclipses, uh, one on September 7th of next year and then one on August 28th of 2026, and that will be the last Pisces eclipse for a long time. And so we have three Pisces eclipses, and this being the first. And again, I think that, you know, uh, this month, this September, is when you could experience the abundance, or you could be getting started on like some sort of light bulb moment. And this could be coming in the darkness. Again, you have that darkness card. So, you know, maybe you're not sure what you're going to do in your life. And, you know, the tower coming up could say that you're about to discover what you're going to do. Uh, with the Page of Wands, you have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is about news or receiving news. So again, there could be some important news or important information that's coming in for you at this time, and that could be where um, you are learning about something or you're learning how to do something like from a person, and so I would pay attention to that. Uh, with the King of Swords, you have the Four Cups. Yeah, I would be looking at like where you're not getting results. So if you have been getting a disappointing result in some area of your life, um, I feel like I almost feel that the Four Cups is definitely saying don't give up because you're very, very close uh, to accomplishing something. It just You just need to try one more time. You know, he just needs to accept this cup into his life one more time and he will be successful. He will find success this time. So I really feel it's kind of like saying don't give up on something um, that you have been learning a lot about, right? 
Uh, with the Empress, you have the Ten of Pentacles again. Love it. Amazing. Um, you know, we have the Ten of Pentacles twice here. Uh, this is total abundance coming in for you. Uh, Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. And so Ten of Pentacles is building, leaving a legacy. And I always say this is something that we will work on for the rest of our lives. But again, you could finally be getting, uh, you know, a very solid understanding or you could be understanding what your legacy is meant to be or what it is. And uh, because you understand it, you're building wealth or prosperity because of it. Uh, next, in the area of what's coming in for you, you have this heal card and this approve card. I kind of feel like you need to approve of your healing in a lot of ways. So it's like there are opportunities in front of you to heal something. And I feel like accepting those opportunities into your life or what's going to cause the healing in the first place. Uh, you also, I kind of feel like there could be um, some sort of like rebirth coming in for you. And uh, like I said, I feel like I need to see more... Um, more details around that tower uh, before I say too much. But, you know, the tower I feel could be some sort of difficult tower moment that you've had in the past. You're healing from it or you need to heal from it and release it. And once you do that, things will really get going. Uh, you have the Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Six of Swords. Uh, the Two of Pentacles is work hard, play hard. Uh, I feel pretty good about this. I kind of almost feel like this is saying nothing. Really what I feel like the card is saying is it's saying you're going to be work, working hard and playing hard over the next, you know, several years. So I think that there is just a good balance going on between like where you put your energy and what you get out of things. And also I think you're balancing it out by, you know, doing the things you enjoy in life and taking care of yourself. Uh, we also have the Queen of Cups. Um, you know, funny enough, I read the Queen of Cups as you. You know, most people read her as Cancer, uh, but I always read her as you, Scorpio. And so I think that this could just be you your energy showing up in the reading. The Queen of Cups, she really nurtures her heart and she really cares for herself. And so I feel for a lot of you uh, that you are really nurturing and caring for yourself with this energy. I feel like you are uh, doing the things necessary to take care of yourself and to like be healthy and all that other stuff. And that's exactly what I would do with the Queen of Cups. It's kind of funny because I almost get more Empress vibes. And we do have the Empress here. And the Empress is about self-care. The Queen of Cups would also be about self-care. So I think, you know, healing yourself would be a good idea. Uh, you have the Six of Swords, and the Six of Swords is about moving on to calmer shores. You're definitely leaving something behind, probably this tower, probably something that you've been holding on to for too long. You know, it's like sometimes I think the eclipses come in, and they, sh they shine a light on something that we need to release. And that's I, th that, this could be like the first step, right? Because this is the first Pisces eclipse in a, a set of Pisces eclipses, three over the next three years. And, you know, I'm wondering if this is kind of like the first step of you kind of really um, letting go and releasing something that you've been having a hard time releasing in your life with this energy right here. And, uh, you know, it's probably going to lead to you building, leaving a legacy or building wealth. I also like see more happiness coming in for you. Although I feel like you've been in a dark period of time where maybe you've been having dark thoughts or maybe you've been feeling more, um, you know, I don't want to say depressed, but you know, maybe you have been feeling depressed. Uh, with the with the two of pentacles, you have the tower again. So again, you've been trying to make a decision, I feel, with the two of pentacles. It's like between happiness and what you have is what I'm hearing, you know? And so I don't know, I can't answer that question for you, Scorpio, right? It's like there are some things that you have in your life, but I feel like the tower is saying that they might not necessarily make you happy. And maybe that's a realization that you are having is that things don't make us happy. Uh, we have to make ourselves happy. I'm a little bit surprised that the Ten of Cups hasn't shown up in this reading because the Ten of Cups is really the card of making yourself happy. And so I'm wondering, you know, I kind of get the feeling that the Tower moment is about you having things and realizing that those things don't bring happiness into your life. Uh, like on one hand, this can be depressing. On the other hand, it can be very free because you are realizing like, you know what, that what I thought was going to make me happy doesn't, but now I know that it doesn't, and now I can go and do the things that do make me happy, or I can go experience the things that will make me happy. Uh, with the Queen of Cups, you have the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands is about kind of uh, putting up boundaries. The Nine of Wands is the Wounded Warrior. Definitely looking at this reading, I think the past couple of years have, have put you in to the position of the Wounded Warrior. Remember what I said about the Four of Cups, don't give up. And I literally said that on the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups doesn't represent don't give up, but now you have the Nine of Wands, which does represent don't give up. So I think that you're about to have something you want. You've tried to have it multiple times in your life. And the Four of Cups and the Nine of Wands are saying don't give up because you're about to get something you want. 
Uh, with the Six of Swords, you have the King of Wands. Yeah, King of Wands is about being bold, being assertive, really going for what you want. Uh, he's also kind of the card of courage. And I do feel for a lot of you that it would be a really good time for you uh, to develop the skill of courage because that's what's going to help you kind of like move towards your Ten of Pentacles. Uh, next in the area of what um, uh, messages from your future self, you have this change and healing card and you also have this energy healing card. So clearly there could be a lot of healing going on for you at this time and it could just be healing in general, right? So I feel it would be a great time for you to heal yourself and for you to focus on healing. The Ankh also can represent rebirth. So I do feel there could be, and the tower is a major shift, a major change in your life. So I feel like a lot of you uh, could be going through a rebirth here. Now you have the four cups, the four pentacles and the devil. The four cups is having been disappointed with what you've received so far. We talked about this in the last row. So I feel for a lot of you, you've been disappointed with what you have. But the four cups actually says you have all the ingredients necessary to make something very successful. I always say that I look at the four cups like he's trying to manifest a cake and he has like the flour, the sugar, the eggs in front of him. But he just needs to mix all those things together and pop it in the oven. So I, I feel like saying like all is not lost. You know, some of you might be in darkness. You might be feeling certain ways about things. You have the tower twice, right? I don't feel so bad about the tower. You know, again, I feel good about it because I feel like you've realized that things aren't certain things aren't going to make you happy. But now it's what you do with that information that is going to make you successful. So I think you need to look at the lessons you've learned, the things that you've been through. How can you mix those things together and create something amazing in your life? And that's what that wants you to do. Uh, you have the Four of Pentacles. It's like, I feel like you've been holding on to ideas about yourself for too long. And the Four of Pentacles is saying that you know, some of these ideas, like, sure, they could be true, uh, but some of them are not true. And a lot of you are kind of maybe reinventing yourself or you're changing yourself in some way. And I feel like the Four of Pentacles is saying do that. You know, if you feel that you don't align or you don't resonate with certain activities or jobs or businesses or people, places, and things anymore, I feel the Four of Pentacles is saying, what are you holding on to? You know, Scorpio, you know, Scorpios are known for holding on to things with their little, you know, pinchers, right? And their little claws and holding on too tightly. And I feel like for some of you, it's like the second you let go of things is the second that you're truly going to be set free. And I feel like this reading is uh, screaming out for freedom, really. Uh, you have the devil. Uh, the devil can represent toxic vibes, toxic energy. I kind of feel this is more talking about Saturn. Um, we have Saturn in Pisces right now. And the devil actually represents Saturn in Capricorn. But what I would say is I kind of feel like this is talking about Saturn energy and talking about the hard work that you've been doing. Uh, the reason I really say this is because Tower Twice, we also have the Nine of Wands coming up here as well in the same diagonal. And so I feel like this is talking about you looking at the work that you've done so far and kind of looking at um, the fact that you don't need to be stuck and bo in bound to something that you don't desire to have in your life. Uh, with the Four of Cups, you have the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords says set yourself free. I literally just said screaming out for freedom. Eight of Swords is a self-imposed restriction or self-imposed, um, you know, kind of prison. And I feel for a lot of you, you need to look at the things that you believe about life and you need to say like, are these things actually true or not? And um, I don't really have any good examples. <laughs> so what I will say is, is like sometimes I think people think like, oh, I need to have a career. And, but they really hate their career. I just use that example because it's a common example. Um, but what I would say is, you know, it's about looking at those things that you think that you have to have because society tells you that you have to have it. And the Eight of Swords says, well, wh like why? There are plenty of people who start businesses that are very successful. There are people that make money in millions of different ways. And so it's like, why do, why do you have to align yourself with this certain belief system? Or is there something else that you could do? I don't know. I can't answer the question for you. Again, you, it's your life. You have to answer it yourself, right? With the Four of Pentacles, you have the star. Uh, the star is exactly what we want to see in this reading because we go tower to the star. Uh, this literally would represent healing from a tower moment. And even though we have the tower here, um, this right here, again, tower is in the good stuff. So it's saying it's a good thing. Uh, you could be looking pa back uh, at the end here at a past tower moment, and you could be seeing how it's a blessing in disguise, or you could be seeing how it was a blessing in disguise. Um, the star represents like a wish or fulfillment or receiving wish fulfillment. Uh, it can represent hope, faith, and renewal. So I feel like there is a lot of hope uh, coming in for you. Uh, with the devil, 
You have the Seven of Swords. I would definitely protect yourself from anything from the past going this way. Uh, you know, eclipses can be very karmic, and they can also bring in a lot of karma. Uh, they can bring, um, you know, they're, it's not really like a, a retrograde, but they can bring up the, the past and things like that. So I would protect yourself from anyone from the past. Uh, next in the area of the good stuff, you have this koi fish. It says there's always enough. You have this badger. It says be fearless, be bold. And I think that you being fearless and being bold is what you need to do. I kind of feel like you do need to believe that there's always enough. You know, it's like if you have a career and you're miserable every single day, then obviously to go do something different, you are going to need to think abundantly to make that change. And so I think abundant abundance mindset is a little bit of the trick that's going on here. And having an abundance mindset will be the thing that makes you much more, uh, you know, much more successful. Uh, you have the Tower, the Ten of Pentacles, and the Six of Wands. The Tower can, of course, represent a Tower moment coming in, but it's coming up in the area of the good stuff. I kind of just feel like you are seeing how a Tower moment that's already happened was a blessing. I also feel that part of the blessing here is seeing reality. The whole point of the Tower is that these people are falling out of the Tower, and they are being brought back down to reality, so they are seeing reality for how it actually is. So I feel for a lot of you um, that, you know, again, you're seeing reality for what it actually is. Uh, you have the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life, and so this is about building leaving a legacy. It's also about prosperity and abundance. You know, it's kind of like those coins. Are, the Pentacles are raining down on this family that's on the card. So I feel for a lot of you, there could be a lot of abundance that's coming in for you here, a lot of happiness and joy and just, you know, good stuff coming in. So I, I definitely like to see this. Uh, I also feel like if you are about to step out into the into darkness, you have that darkness card. If you are about to step into the unknown, that's where your treasure is, you know? So don't be afraid of stepping into the unknown at this time. Uh, you have the Six of Wands coming out on top here, Scorpio. So I love the Six of Wands card of victory, but it also kind of says that you are coming out on top in some situation in your life, and I feel it's going to be you being celebrated and uh, very good. With the Tower, you have the Lovers. Definitely could be love coming in for you. Um, for some of you, by the way, if you are in a connection, uh, you could be reinventing the connection. And I feel this would be a good thing. Like it, it, This is only for those of you that have been having issues. If you are not having issues, this is not for you. So let me underline that 10 times. If you're not having issues in your connection, this part isn't for you. This is only for those of you that are. Uh, people always ask me questions. Like after I say these things, they're like, oh, my boyfriend's cheating on me. I'm like, I, I literally never said that. So pay attention. Uh, but what I would say here is that if you are, then I feel you could be reinventing the uh, connection in, in a good way. So if you're having issues, I feel like you could be fixing those things. If you want a connection, then I also feel this This could be a surprise. <laughs> you know, This could be a pleasant surprise with a new person, with the Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles is everything you want and desire in your life. So this could be a very strong uh, relationship connection. Uh, with the Ten of Pentacles, you have the Seven of Wands, definitely something you're going to want to protect. You know, again, if you're meeting a new person, I would do the things that, that are necessary to protect the connection. Again, I would avoid negative people. You know, again, I always tell people, like, be careful of, like, negative divorced people. Not all divorced people. Let me underline that ten times. I triggered someone, like, three years ago over that one. But again, if you, you know, sometimes people get divorced and they're super salty about connections. And again, I'm not saying all. I'm just saying some, right? Um, so sometimes some people avoid those people because if they're hating on your relationship, they start changing your mindset about it, and then they ruin your relationship. I've heard the story a million times, right? Um, negative people, negative places, negative things. I definitely feel if you're connecting with something new, it's going to be something that's worth protecting. But we have to do the things that we, to make sure that we protect the connection, right? We have to also make sure to keep the romance alive, right? After a certain time with a person, you see them naked one too many times, right? You start to lose attraction for them. Like we have to do the things necessary to keep the romance alive. So again, I think that's like the major problem with modern day relationships is people get lazy, both sides, men and women, right? Uh, and you know, I, I know there's plenty of channels out there like to blame men. There are plenty of channels that like to blame women. I blame everybody, right? I'm an equal opportunity punisher, so I punish everybody for this, right? But I think everybody gets too lazy and they need to make sure that they don't get lazy and they need to make sure they're doing things to protect the connection. Uh, with the Six of Wands, you have the Knight of Swords. Uh, it's like you're rushing towards success. I, I feel pretty good about this here. Um, you know, two white horses and white horses in the tarot, they represent assistance or, um, you know, kind of like being assisted on your journey. And I feel like you are about to be celebrated. 
Uh, you have this birth card. Uh, some of you could be getting pregnant, um, but this really could be like the birth of a new idea here. And what do you have here? Um, yeah, you, like you could be birthing something new, even with the lovers. You know, sometimes lovers can represent having a choice to go off on a new journey or to go on to a new path. And I think that the whole reading pretty much says that. Uh, you have the submission card. This card says you are much more free than you realize. The whole entire reading says this. You know, there's a bird in this cage, but the cage door is open. So you could easily set yourself free uh, in some situation where you are feeling stuck, but you have to do it, right? You have to leave the cage. Uh, you have this discrimination card. Yeah, it's like all the tough lessons that you've learned have taught you what's right and what's wrong for you. And you have the nine of wands. Yes, you have the nine of wands. He has those eight wands behind him, and he's reaching forward and grabbing that new wand that's in front of him. It's like those eight wands represent the eight different battles or eight different things that he's been through. He's learned from all of those things. Now he knows what's right and what's wrong in love and business and career, you know, all areas of his life. And so now he can tell the difference. And I feel like you can tell the difference with this card, so pay attention. Uh, you have this choice card, definitely a choice. How funny is this? It's like there's two legs that are stuck in this board, but it's like you have a choice whether you're stuck or not. And again, I think that sometimes if we feel stuck in something, it's almost like we're putting too much of other people's opinions on what we're doing. I Like I'm, I'm using career as an example, but it's like if you're stuck in your career, it's like you could be thinking, oh, what will my boss think? What will, will my parents think? What will all my friends think? What's going to happen to my money? But it's like all these things are external. None of them have to necessarily do with you. It's like, what do you want? <laughs> and I feel like that's what this card is saying. It's like, I feel like Ryan Gosling right now. Everybody compare. Everybody says, Chris, you look just like Ryan Gosling, just as handsome, just as amazing. And I feel like Ryan Gosling in this, in this secret or whatever the hell that movie is called 50 shades of gray or i don't know and it, where he says what do you want right and i feel like this card is saying what do you want here scorpio there you go uh you have this escape card there you go <laughs> i don't know i feel like you're setting yourself free i feel like you are removing yourself from something toxic and then uh, it doesn't even have to be toxic you could just be setting yourself free like living a life of freedom or uh, living a more abundant life with the ten of pentacles and looks really good cancer uh, scorpio sorry i don't think it's been easy but i think that um you know you're kind of like getting there you're making the progress is what this reading is saying so uh thank you for being here and definitely enjoy your eclipse